Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from circle theorems. The diagram shows a circle with diameter PQ. SPT is a tangent to the circle at point P. Find the value of Y. So here in the diagram, we can see that a circle is given with the diameter PQ and a tangent ST is joining the circle at point P. So here we need to find out the value of angle Y. So before we can begin solving this, let us understand the circle theorems which we are going to use here. Here we are going to make use of three theorems, starting with the radius tangent theorem. It states that radius or diameter of a circle always make a 90 degree angle with the tangent touching it. So here you can see that I have drawn a circle. AC is a tangent to the circle touching it at point C and OC is the radius. So according to the theorem, the radius always makes a 90 degree angle with the tangent. The second theorem we are going to use here is the angles in the semicircle theorem. It states that angle made by a diameter in a semicircle is always 90 degree. Now in this figure, AOB represents the diameter. Now taking into consideration the point A and B, we have drawn an angle in the semicircle. Now you can draw n number of angles in the semicircle. Remember that all the angles touching the circumference by the diameter are always going to be 90 degree. So it is shown here that angle C is 90. And the last theorem we are going to use here is the angles in the same segment theorem. Here the entire circle is divided into two segments by the points A and C. One is the small segment called the minor segment and one is the large segment called the major segment. Now taking into consideration these two points, we have made many angles in the major segment as shown in the figure at points B, D, E and F. Now, for example, if I consider angle B as 50 degree, then angle D is also going to be 50, angle E also 50 and angle F is also going to be 50 degree because all these angles are made in the same segment which is the major segment. Now let us see how we can use these three theorems to solve the example above. Now in the figure, I have labeled few points. It's U here. B and R. So these are three new labels I have marked for these points. Now let us begin with the first theorem which was radius tangent theorem. Now that theorem is also called as diameter tangent theorem. Now here we can see that PQ is a diameter and the tangent SPT touches the circle at point P. So according to the theorem the radius or the diameter always makes a 90 degree angle with the tangent touching it. Now since we got this angle QPT as 90 degree and here we have RPT given as 58 degree, we can now find out the value of angle QPR, that is this angle. So it's going to be 90 degree minus 58 degree, that is going to give us 32 degree. So we have got the value of angle QPR as 32. Now we are going to make use of the second theorem that is angles in the semicircle theorem. Now PQ is the diameter of the circle and it makes an angle in the semicircle at point R. So using the theorem, we can now say that angle R is going to be 90 degree. That is angle in a semicircle is always 90 degree. Next, we are going to make use of the last theorem that is angles in the same segment theorem. Now consider the points U and Q. These two points divide the entire circle into two segments. One is the small segment called the minor segment and one is this large segment called the major segment. Now these two points make an angle at point P and the same two points make an angle R in the major segment. Which means if angle P is 17 degree then angle R is also going to be 17 degree. Now once we have got this, we know that the total angle R is 90 degree. So now we can find angle PRV that is 90 degree minus this 17 degree. That will give us a value of 73 degree. Now once we have got these two values, let us focus on the triangle PRV. Now PRV is a triangle. So making use of angle sum property of a triangle, we can now find angle Y that is, so angle V that is Y plus angle P that is 32 degree plus angle R which is 73 degree is equal to 180 degree. Now taking these two on the other side of the equal to sign, we get y is equal to 180 minus 32 plus 73. Now simplifying this, we get the final value of y as 75 degree. So this is the value of y. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. 
and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching